Hi friends, welcome. So good to be with you again. Today is the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And as we are praying with each other today, let us continue to remember all those on our prayer list, all those who have asked for our prayers, all those for whom we have promised to pray, especially for peace, peace in our world, peace in the Ukraine, peace in our cities, peace in our hearts and our families, among our friends, and of course, always praying for vocations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me. Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, Is it not right to take the food of children and throw it to the dogs? She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. So many times when we read this particular scripture, people will think that Jesus is calling this woman a dog. And actually, he's not. First of all, Jesus says, I came to see the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jesus came for the chosen people. The Canaanites were not a part of that. And so this Canaanite woman was not a part of the children of Israel. And so she came, though, because she knew who Jesus was, and she believed. That was the key. She believed, and she had faith. And she went because her daughter was sick. I don't know many parents, if I don't know if I know any parent that would not do anything they could for their child, to help that child. And so this woman went and said, Lord, help me. And I actually looked up this scripture passage today because I wanted to see exactly what the dogs meant. And first of all, they said the word the dogs used were more like a pet. It wasn't like a wild dog or something like that. And you know how, you know, all of us, you kind of give a little treat to the dog. And so he says, you don't take the, do the food of children and give it to the dogs, meaning to the pet. And what he was saying there is that the food is for the people of Israel. But because this woman was outside, but it was because of her faith that Jesus then said, I will save your daughter. And so, how is Jesus' example today of the faith of the Canaanite woman showing us what we should do with our faith? See, friends, all of us want the best in the world for ourselves, for our family, for our world, right? But at times we need Jesus, which is a lot of the time. And we go to him and we ask him, Lord, save me. Lord, help me. But do we do it with faith? Do we do it and say, Lord, I know who you are. I know you are the Lord and Savior. This Canaanite woman, she knew. And then she believed and she trusted and she acted. And so how are you and I with our faith trusting, and then acting. Let us ask Jesus, but let us always be aware that he will always do what is best for us. I always like using the phrase, 
when I do the prayers of the faithful at Mass, at the end I'll say, Lord, help us accept the answers you send to our prayers. So with faith we ask, with faith we believe, but also with faith let us trust. Because sometimes our prayers are not answered the way we want it. They're always answered. Every prayer is answered. But they're not always answered the way we want them. And if we are honest and look back over life and we can see where a prayer wasn't answered the way we wanted, but then in the long run we say, wow, you know, it actually does make sense. And so how are you and I trusting? How are you and I believing in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? But know that he is with us. We are never alone. And he turned to that Canaanite woman, the woman who he said, I came for the lost children of Israel. But Jesus shows that he's willing to take everyone on because we know he died for all of us. And so let's have the faith of this Canaanite woman. Let's never give up and let us always trust and believe. And when we do that, unbelievable things are going to happen if we always just trust and believe. And so as we go through this new week, let us ask ourselves, how can we trust? How can we believe? And in a special way, let's pray for all students. School starts here tomorrow at St. Rita, first day of classes. But let's pray for all of our students, all who are starting school, who are starting with an excitement, with a vigor. May they keep that. May they do their best using the gifts and talents God has given them in their academics, in their extracurriculars, in their sporting events, and always strive to do the best. So let us in a special way this week pray for all students, whatever from our little ones starting kindergarten and preschool all the way up to those that are continuing in college and beyond. So let us pray for them and let us encourage them to use the gifts and talents God has given them to the best of their ability. And let us continue to pray for peace, to pray for vocations, and to, in a special way, pray for those who are searching. Those who, like that Canaanite woman, are searching. They know who Jesus is, and out of faith they ask. And may we do the same thing. May all of us truly trust like that Canaanite woman. And let us pray that the Lord will trust, not the Lord will trust, we'll trust in the Lord, but that the Lord will then answer the way we want it and let us accept the answers he sent. So have a great day, great new week, how good it is that we are here. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.